Hello guys, welcome to our channel. This video is about light and its properties. What is light? In short, light is an uh, electromagnetic way that allows us to see. Light is the reason why you are able to watch this video. And also, we're going to see that light is a particle like this. Uh, a particle that has uh, properties, of course. It has momentum and it has energy. We're going to see that that comes from the work of Einstein and other uh, scientists. For light, the concept of time doesn't exist. Also, light doesn't experience uh, space. So for us humans, I can say uh, there's one second, two seconds, three seconds, but light doesn't experience time. Also, for us humans, we experience space, one meter, two meters, three meters, and we're gonna see that light doesn't have or doesn't experience a space or, or length. At the end of the video, I'm going to do a, an example and we're going to see more or less how many photons, how many particles of light enter the human eye per second when we look at the moon. To understand light, we have to understand where light is coming from, right? And the answer is that light comes from the atom. But how big is the, the atom? To have an idea, roughly speaking, there are 20 quintillion atoms in a single grain of sand. And um, if we want to get more personal, the, the human body is made up of cells. And uh, there are more or less 37 trillion cells in the human body. And, and the atom is smaller than a cell, right? So now we can ask the question, how many atoms we have in a human body? And the answer is uh, 7 octillion atoms. That is a seven, you put the dot, you put 27 zeros after that. So it's, um, it's a huge number. So to start, we have to understand more or less the structure of the atom. As uh, we know, the atom is made of uh, protons, neutrons, and electrons, uh, which orbit the, the nucleus. And um, most of the mass of the atom is in the nucleus, of course. So I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with this uh, image. Now, we have a uh, hundred and something types of atoms, which uh, when we put some of them together, uh, we get uh, uh, the human body. And also when we put all of them together, we get uh, the universe that we live in. And it's a remarkable fact that we only need a hundred and something uh, types of atoms to have this uh, whole uh, universe. But the, the question is uh, how uh, light is created, right? Well, the answer is that light comes from the atom. And as we saw, the atom uh, has uh, electrons, right? El electrons that orbit around the, the, the nucleus. So light is created when the the electron goes from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. And when the electron goes from, uh, let's say in this example, the second shell, these are called shells, first shell, second shell, third shell. When the electron goes from the second shell, in this example, to the first shell, it's uh, releasing energy. When the electron goes from a higher shell to a lower shell, uh, it releases a, a photon, and as we know, the photon is the particle of light. And also light is uh, released as a, as a form or, or in a shape of a wave, right? So that's why light has uh, the properties of a photon, the properties of a particle, and also has the properties of a wave, right? So that's why light behaves like a wave and also behaves like um, a particle. Now, the type of photon that the electron releases, it's going to depend on the, um, on the wavelength, right? Not all photons are the same. Uh, on this side, we have the high energy photons, which are gamma rays. And on the other side of the spectrum, we have the um, low energy photons, which are radio waves and microwaves and, and so on. So. As you, can, as you can see, visible light, it's a type of radiation and it's a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So 
no, not all radiation is bad. So we have to understand that uh, uh, radiation is uh, the reason why we can see and radiation is the reason why we have radios, microwaves uh, and x-rays and all the good stuff that we use. And this is um, also an, uh, a picture of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. And as we can see in the, in the lower level, when the energy is uh, high, the, the wavelength is very short. So these uh, gamma rays are very powerful and can be dangerous uh, for humans. Uh, as I said before, visible light is kind of in the middle. And on the other side, when the energy is not too high, we have radio waves and uh, te uh, television waves. Here I want to show the wave particle duality of light. These are Maxwell equations. These are very important equations. And uh, these are in the integral form. You also have the differential form. But, but that's not, not the point. The point is that from this you can derive the, the wave equation. And as the name says, it, it's, uh, it describes a, a wave, right? Um, mm -hmm. And also light behaves like a particle. This is, this is coming from the work of Einstein. Probably all of us are familiar with the equation E equals mc squared. Well, that is not the whole picture. The whole picture is this um, equation right here. And what's happening is that when m is equal to zero, which is the case for a photon, and energy is equal to pc, p being the, the momentum of the particle. Now, energy can be expressed as uh, h times f, f is the frequency, and this is because p, the momentum, is equal to h, Planck's constant, over lambda, the wavelength of, of light. Now I want to show you that li uh, light or photons experience no, no time. So for this we need the Lorentz-Einstein transformation and the Lorentz uh, factor gamma. Gamma is this uh, symbol right here. So if you have a particle in one reference frame, it's going to experience a different time than a particle on the second reference frame, uh, frame depending on the speed that uh, the, the particle is traveling. And we're going to take that uh, delta t1 is the time that passes in one reference frame and delta t2 is the time that passes in a different uh, reference frame. And you can see this better in my other video about uh, relativity where I did some examples uh, on this. So um, what we have to do here is uh, simply apply the uh, Lorentz uh, transformation and, and we're going to see that when the speed of uh, the particle, the speed of the photon is equal to c, which is the, the speed of light, v becomes 1. When v becomes 1, you have 1 minus 1 equals to 0, and that is, uh, um, that is undefined. So let me uh, evaluate this, see what we get. Let me make it bigger. So you have, um, uh, this is what I just said. And here, time is, uh, is undefined, meaning that it doesn't exist. So light does not experience uh, time. Now, photons experience no space. It's the, the same idea. If the speed of the photon is equal to c, uh, then this becomes 1, and you have 1 minus 1 equal to 0, 0 times uh, whatever is equal to, to 0. So, let me make it bigger, there you go. So, length equal to 0. So, there is no space, there is no length, for, uh, for light. On this last example, uh, we asked the question, how many photons enter the eye per second from a weak light source such as the moon? And for this we need uh, several constants. As you know, this is the speed of light, this is Planck's constant, and uh, this is uh, the combination of them. And uh, this we take to be the wavelength of visible light. 
visible light goes from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers and this is an average so in this example the wavelength is going to be 550 nanometers now uh, we need the intensity of light and the area of the pupil so uh, that is not part of the calculations this is the, the calculation because uh, uh, here I wanted to show you the, the units the joules per second, meters per second and so on so so here we put everything together uh, we have the energy the intensity of light the area of the pupil and to get the number of photons we, uh, we have to multiply the intensity of light times the area over the energy this term right here is just the um, number of factors I want to get in the, in the answer so now click enter and, uh, and we have that uh, that the number of photons um, that, that enter the, the human eye per second when we look at the moon is roughly this number right here and uh, that is uh, more than a billion photons per second so it, it's a huge number and um, i think that's all for for now and i really hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and we had quite a journey from the size of the atom to the origins of light and the electromagnetic spectrum and uh, some examples so May the light always be with you, till next time.